Let's go with that. It's not the most expensive piece of work, but you know, it is um, definitely a fair price. What I try to do is do the most expensive piece of work I can do in the nation with the DLC maps and the basic map that I have unlocked. Now, I did not know that was going to happen. I should have known. Because I've had this game for years, I should have expected that. But now I have to work, find my way around this piece of trash. I can't just back up and go out the driveway, hell no. So I guess now, what we're gonna do is work our way around this trailer, which this is the way I should have done it a long time ago, but I was an idiot. I'll admit I was being stupid there. I don't wanna stop at that. I wasn't using my head again. I gotta get this uh, truck fixed up after the next job here. Um, but I really don't want to stop now. And we're gonna have to stop right in the middle of this job too to get some sleep. That is what it is. It's the nature of the job, I guess. Oh, you know what? I gotta change something in the recording software I have on right now. So when we get to the freaking trailer stop, give me a minute, guys, and I'm gonna turn something off. Because I only use it for when uh, I play multiplayer with headphones, that way you guys can still hear what's going on. And I gotta go and turn that setting off, otherwise the game is gonna be louder than it needs to be. Cause it, it's, it's, um, own audio mix thing. So I gotta mute that part of the, uh, so you guys are going to be sitting in one spot for a little bit. Uh, but I will be back as soon as I can. I'm going to actually hit control tab because it's the only way I'm going to be able to do it. Because I'm not going to exit the game and get back into the game. I just, no. So I'm gonna hit control tab and take care of what I need to take care of and we'll, we'll get going again. Well, actually that doesn't seem to be too bad. The thing I don't like about these construction loading docks and driving for these companies is the fact that, um, turn it like this, okay? And I'm going to try to get as far enough away from this wall I can get. Turn this all the way around. So you got, I got to be careful with that gravel. So it's, that's why I don't like them because a lot of times to even load in these construction uh, loading dots and working for these construction companies, um, they're really hard to load up and leave. Um, they're really tight. And I'll tell you, if I had a bigger truck with I with a sweeper on the back, this would be much more difficult. This particular loading dock, it's not all that bad. But man, I've had some bad ones. Working for these construction guys. Yeah, low temperatures kind of high. I think if we do run into a maintenance shop on highway, which we most likely will, I'm gonna stop and get the baby fixed. 
You're gonna have to excuse my driving from lane to lane because um it, using one hand and doing it, it's it's fine, but it's um a little more sensitive to do this one handed. Yeah, it's only a twelve hour trip. Not much at all. So I might even do this whole trip on a one stream here. I do have quite a bit of DLC, but I don't have all of it. No way. Um, I don't like the fact that we're going into California. Uh, I really hate the um, 55 speed limit. I mean, uh, it really sucks guts. It, this truck, it wouldn't be all that bad because it's not, it's not all that powerful. Oh my god. Like, oh my god. And that's the other thing too, guys. I'm using my left leg to push the brake here. So you're gonna have to give me some grace on that, but that one kind of pissed me off a little bit because uh, I was really trying to stop. No, stop. Okay, screw it. We're not doing this. I don't care if they find me or not. I'm not doing it. Because this is... This is crazy, like... Trying to back up on that. I know! Okay? But that kind of pisses me off. Because I wasn't able to stop quick enough. Smacked into the frickin' cones. Okay, here we go. Oh, uh, you know what? I forgot to take that microphone off the screen there, but I'm not going to do that now. Okay. There's a sleeping area right here. I might even take advantage of that. Just depends. Stop and get some fuel too. I'm already here. If I'm gonna stop and get some sleep, I might as well get some fuel too. I have good days and I got bad days when it comes to this game. Um, but this one's not really starting all that good. Not really starting good at all. You know what? I'm gonna try and find a sleeping area like on the highway or something. I know we're pushing it, but that just looks like a nightmare. Yeah, that just, that hotel looks like a freaking nightmare trying to pull out if I did manage to get in. I just hope we hit a repair shop before we actually uh, hit a wait station because I know if I have this much damage on the truck and I pull up to it, at the very least, they're not going to be happy with me. They might even find me if I pull up to a wave station with 7% damage on the truck. I think they start to do that with like 10 damage. I'm not exactly sure, but point point in case being like I don't want to deal with it when I don't have to. I would rather just avoid the whole scenario. I'd rather just avoid the whole scenario if I can. I don't like these two lane roads though, I have to admit. Um, they're harder for me to navigate because there's not so much, there's not as much room on the, like you don't have as much grace if you do, if you do slide over. 
Oh crap! I lost control of the control for a minute there. Since I'm using a PlayStation 4 controller on a computer, the connection between the controller and the PC is not as good as it is the, for the PlayStation. And so sometimes it temporarily disconnects. And it looks like we got another hotel popping up here. I'm gonna see how that is arranged. But whether I like it or not, I might have to stop anyways. Yeah, I'm gonna have to stop anyways. Dang it. So, pray to God we can actually get out of this hotel without any problems. Oh no. Please squeeze by me, man. Oh man, that was close. Now, this might not be that bad. But it is kind of tight. I'm gonna consider I'm right on top of the damn thing and it's not letting me do it. Well, unfortunately, guys, we're gonna have to take a risk and I'm apparently not at fault for that accident because, uh, I didn't get fined for it. I thought that was my fault because I didn't wait a minute, but apparently that was his. I really don't like driving with super high fatigue. It definitely isn't safe, not to mention they can uh, find me for doing this, but I don't really have a choice. I tried to stop, but that rust area wasn't letting me do it. So hopefully, we find something within the next hour or two uh, concerning the game time. Because I really, and the next few moments in real life, because I really don't like this. Yes, I understand that. And you guys are going to have to give me some grace here because it's not like I didn't try to stop. And it really is the worst place to be passing out. Man, that's really not cool. That's really not cool. Oh, man. That's why I said this really, this type of road is really the worst place to be tired. Okay, because it's twisty turns and you absolutely lose all control if you start to pass out for a couple of seconds. It gets worse the longer it goes. I do not like this at all. Not my greatest show either, but I'm really trying to do this clean for you. You see what I mean? I just pushed that brake and he was gonna stop. Yep, do you see that? That's why I didn't want to do that. I just got fine because I'm sweet. I'm driving when I shouldn't be. Uh-huh. And I'm gonna continue to get fined <sighs> until I fix the problem. Kinda sucks ass, really. Come on. Give me a rest area that I can actually pull into. Please, I don't want to be passing out. Now it's a little safer, but not much. See, you starting to... Yeah. I don't want to be completely passing out here. The first hotel I see to break off. Yep, I'm telling you. And the first repair shop I see. Because this is not kosher right here. This really is not cool. I mean, we're making good time because we've been driving the whole time, but 
It's not good for us as a person. Oh yes, we're breaking off here. I'm telling you, but normally I wouldn't slow down like that, but I don't want to miss that exit because if I do, we are screwed. And there's a repair shop in there too. So we'll get two birds with one stone, so to speak. Oh man. I hope you guys have a little bit of grace on me right now because I'm really trying to do this as clean as I can. Yes, shut up. Finally, something I can fit in. But, and probably before I leave, I'm gonna stop for fuel again only because I'm here and if I had to stop anyways. Oh, what the shit. I can't believe I hit that. Now it's my own fault, I'm sorry. Let's get the truck fixed up first. We're all good to go. I just gotta stop these one, one of these rest areas. That's specifically built for trucks, so this won't be easier. Okay, let's get on the road again. And, uh, what the shit? I don't even know what that was about. I hit something, someone's vehicle, but still, we're gonna turn all the way around. Make sure I have enough space to turn. Uh, we don't have to get fuel. I mean, it'd be a cheap gas date, but it's gonna keep going here. <clears throat> so, my brake and my left turning signal are controlled by my left leg, actually. And we only got seven hours to go. Uh, hopefully it's not seven hours of absolute heck, but we should be good to go for the rest of the trip, at least from a uh, fatigue center. And uh, get our, I have to get our weight checked out. Oh, no, we don't. Yeah, we do. Okay. It's the red stoplight. No, don't do this to me. Oh my gosh, that was a close call. And we're in freaking California. Oh, my worst place. I absolutely hate it. Gas prices are high. As I said, the main reason I do not like California is your highway speed limit is 55, which here in Pennsylvania it's the same thing in some places, especially around my area, but the reason why I don't like that is because this game is hard to keep the truck at 55. <laughs> I mean, I'm just being honest, it really is. So while you're driving through California, it's a lot of, uh, po it's a lot of coasting. And I'm really trying to stay on one side of the road, but it is hard to do it when you're doing this one-handed. Not so much anymore, but once the road starts to turn, like right here, it gets hard to keep it on one side. You guys have no idea, like, how lightly I'm pushing this right now. <laughs> it's insane. Lucky for me, this uh, truck isn't that powerful yet. But man, once you get some serious horsepower in these trucks, it is almost impossible to do the whole speed running thing in California. I mean, it's 
Ned Sacramento. Well, we're not going to discover it because we're not actually going in there. Oh, maybe we will. It says that we discovered it. I thought we would have disco discovered it back there, but guess not. Yeah, that was kind of a frantic stop, I'll tell you that. Oh man, uh, it's been fun doing this trip, but all too often I'm reminded why I don't actually have one old friend. She was uh, from Bakersfield. I haven't spoke to her in years since I was in my young adulthood. Now I'm pushing middle-aged. I probably got 10 more years and I'm middle-aged adult. It's crazy. I wish I could see Vonda again. I haven't spoke to her in so long. She was pretty too. Yeah, speeding violation. You know what I mean? It's really... I mean, granted there... I wasn't really paying attention to the speed thing, but now you know how easy it is to get a speeding violation in California. I'm not too thrilled about it. I'm really not too thrilled about it. I'm trying to go down here slowly, because I know if I don't, I have to probably want to stop for fuel now. It makes me wish I stopped earlier. But California did discover here. Oh wow. Never really paid attention to that. Apparently when I stop for gas, when the tank is full, my keyboard uh, flashes green. And then when I get stopped from the Cops, it flashes blue and red. Since I'm, you know, using the trawler, I don't really pay attention to it too much. And this is right on red because it always is for this game for some reason. So, oh man, that was iffy. You only got. Three hours and 41 minutes till we're about done here. Yeah, that's why I was trying to stay over. There's a guy in front of me had to slam on his brakes so that the, the guy could change lanes. I'm trying to be so careful with the speed when I'm not really paying attention to how far I'm over. So I have to be really paying attention to that speed where I don't really like that aspect of California. Because it takes away from my driving. And I'm really not pushing it that hard. That's how quickly this uh, truck accelerates. It's not really built for power yet. So this ain't crap. I uh, put too much pressure on that brake now. Well, we'll be there in about two hours. It's funny because uh, we drove the majority of that 12 hours just on a few hours of sleep. Holy crap, that was kind of a iffy moment for sure. We, we got about an hour and 40 minutes now. Couple of moments in real life. This is my own truck by the way. That's why the loan was taken out. But those of you that want to watch the whole thing, you're welcome to watch the live stream version in the live stream section. And those of you that are watching now, um, I appreciate if you would hit that like and subscribe button. And thanks for watching because I appreciate it. I work hard on these videos. Am I the best player in the world? No. 
but I think a lot of it is because of my disability. So, you know, I'm not using that as a crutch, but keep in mind that concerning my disability, I do have quite the ability when it comes to gaming because I've adapted over the years. So, I'm pleased with myself. Some days I feel like I could do better. Um, and some days, sometimes concerning strategy games, I do something stupid or whatever, but um, I'm pleased with my gaming ability. Uh, God has really blessed me with the ability to play games. Um, some people with my disability can't even talk. So it's really a blessing to even be able to do this on camera with you guys. I mean, I enjoy, I really enjoy doing it. it it's a pastime for me, but the end goal is to make it my career. I mean, I didn't really realize how much I really enjoyed doing this until I started doing it. And so now, you know, when I wake up each day, I'm like, oh, okay, time to go to work. But, you know, I've been sick with this cold for the last couple of days, so I was trying to maximize the um, Sea of Thieves content that I did come out with during that time. But now that I'm on the mend, I'm going to start doing more content quicker and faster. And I think we're going to start to get into more American Truck Simulator and Need for Speed, etc. Um, but that's because I have not really played American Truck Simulator in a while. At least on live stream, etc. 5-0. Well, buckle your seatbelts, because we don't know what's going to happen within 33 hours. Oh, I don't like that. That's coming off of speed real fast. I, don't, I didn't really like that. That, was, that probably would have turned bad real quick. Oh my god, I did it again. Only this time I did slowed down quite a bit, so I'm not going to hit myself like I did last time. I did slow down quite a bit. No, stop. Thank you. Dang. And I'm going to check the damages on everything. Just make sure it's only the truck, and uh, then we'll get going. Yeah, we're all good. 2% on the truck, it's all right. No, I'm going to pause it again so I can change it back to map mode. That's what I got to do with the controller. That kind of irritates me that I did that twice. But, um, it is what it is. You can see that I tried to stop because I was like, time to, time to stop for agriculture inspection. I'm like... Okay, I just didn't hold it long enough. Probably by the time we get this job done, we'll put some mods in the next uh, episode, etc. Because we're going to jump up a couple levels after this one, I guarantee you. We jumped up to the last time, but this one's definitely going to jump up, especially if we're right on time. And we don't want to worry about the, uh, you know, the late timer. And I decided to do the 15 point extra XP for parking it. I don't, ever, I don't ever do the 25 because with my disability, doing the 25 is just out of the question. Like, it's not going to happen. So I always try to do the 15 if I can. But the maximum bonus XP thing for doing the hard parking is just, nope, not going to happen. So again, am I the best player at this game? No. But considering my disability, 
Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with my ability to play this. Um, if you're new to the channel, why do I say that? Because I'm driving with one hand. My one hand and my legs. And that, that is what controls everything on the controller here. See, usually I don't have a problem pulling that brake in, but if I don't get it positioned right on my leg, I can't use it quick enough. That's why sometimes you see me crash and it's kind of dumb and I get irritated because what I'm actually trying to do is actually stop, but I can't get the controller positioned uh, in between my leg to be able to use my leg to use it. So that that's why sometimes I get mad because I know that I should have I should have been able to stop for that, but I just didn't. And we're still dealing with the 55 speed limit thing that I loathe so much. I mean, I really hate it. That's when you can tell I'm trying to use my brake, because in some cases, not every case, but in some cases, I will actually lose control of the truck uh, because I'm trying to slow down so much. But once I hear the engine like wind up like that, it's fine to hear it do that on like a higher speed limit truck. But once I hear that in California, it's like, yep, time to think about jamming that brake because I don't like that. That's crazy. How long are they giving us to do this job? I'll have to get a stopping point here. Maybe when we stop for gas and I'll look at that. But we're three, three hours away. Less than that now, but you guys get my point. Like this is a, this is a haul. This is crazy. And I don't really like speeding on these two lane roads, even if they are some kind of freeway, because the two lane roads, you know, when they quit get, um, twisty turny it's not fun it's truly like not not fun to deal with when you're on a twisty turn road and just you go over this view on it that is supposed to, I mean people do it when they have to but it's especially not fun for me because again I'm only using one hand and I'm doing it everything with my one hand and my leg. So it's really not fun when you're on the twisty turn two lane roads. So I don't really um, like the two lane roads, especially at night. But you know, you do what you have to do. They're um, paying us to do a job, so. You know, it's like, okay, you're gonna pay me a hundred thousand dollars or eighty thousand dollars to you know drive 33 hours you know it's, you gotta deal with stuff that you don't want to deal with and for me it's these two lane roads because it is so hard to keep it on that one lane uh, when I play this game I really get immersed in it and it's like okay I'm, I might not like this, but I'm doing a job right now. I gotta do it. Time to slow down, yeah? Huh? I can't wait till we cross that line. That California line, cause, man, that sucks. I almost crashed there. I did see that, guys. Um, but again, have a little bit of grace on me because it's really hard for me to keep, um, the truck in the one lane when I'm using one hand. Please again have a little bit of grace there and I'll get you guys there safely if I can. Looks like another agriculture stop but I don't think 
I might not have to stop because I'm on the wrong side of the thing. Yeah. It's on the other side of the... Now we're getting on the type of roads that I don't mind. I usually like the bigger ones a little bit better, but it's... These ones aren't too terrible. And I'm gonna try and get you guys uh, from job to job as clean as I can. With a bit of a lag there. That might be just because I'm streaming and recording at the same time. Yeah, see now the speed limit is 65 because we're in Nevada. Um, again, the 65 speed limit is not so bad. But I prefer 70 because, not that I like to go 70 because I rarely go that speed because it, it kind of scares me to go that speed. But I have a little more wiggle room before it kind of gets dangerous or before I get a ticket or something. I mean I will go 70, uh, oftentimes you will see me go 70. but. Um, when I do go 70, it really is, if I need to slow down, I'm going to go slower than that. Drive, but there's not, there's not a lot of space on my initial hard drive. So, I mean, I try to, you know, put as many games as I can on my extended hard drive. And... Try not to touch the initial hard drive at all. Yeah, see, so it saved it right when we passed that agricultural uh, inspection thing. My mom was nice enough to get the controller for me. But yeah, that's uh, one of the main reasons I don't really like going 70 because if something like that happens, you're SOL. So I try to go under that, or that exactly. Uh, but that, a lot of times that's easier said than And if, really, if that's the only reg we have this entire trip, I'll be pretty pleased with myself, because again, that wasn't really me, it was just the fact that I dropped the controller and then I wasn't able to regain control of the truck because of that. People say I drive like I'm drunk. That is true, I do, but uh, like I said, it's not easy to actually drive with one hand. I mean, I've been doing it for years. You should have seen me when, uh, before I discovered how to hook. I used to use the mouse completely. You know, the clicker, the buttons being my braking gas, and the, the mouse cursor itself being the steering wheel. And man, I was all over the road then. But the only positive thing with the um, mouse was I had quicker access and easier access to the brake. That's the only time, the only thing about the mouse that I really miss. But overall, the controller really helped me with my driving. It really improves it by probably 98% in all honesty. Looking back and seeing where I was before, you know, it's definitely improved loads, I'm telling you. Um, and I slid off the road a little bit for a second there because I'm engaging with you guys at the same time because I know this, you know, just watching me drive can be a little bit dry unless you engage, and unless you enjoy this type of game, but, um, I enjoy playing this type of game, so that's why I stream it, that's why I record it. Um, but uh, that's also why I try to be as engaging as I can when I play this one, 
because it is only driving, but because I'm talking so much, I'm kind of not focusing 100% on the driving. I mean, I am to really know where I'm going, but sometimes I get caught up in telling you guys something and I slide a little bit. But you'll notice I had a uh, pause there for a moment while I was talking because I didn't want to talk to you while I was turning. You'll see I bumped the brake on that one a little bit because the little yellow turn thing showed up as a road sign. I'm like, no, I don't want to risk that. So now we're in Carson City, Nevada. I would assume I'm not really looking at the map here, so maybe we're in a different state, but I doubt it. I've never been to Carson City, so I can't tell you what state that is. I've been to a lot of these states on the map, but not all, not all cities. I've been to almost all 50 states except for a few. But yeah, now it's going to be kind of a exit deal here. Not quite, but almost. I know that uh, light was green for a while there, but I knew by the time I turned the freaking turning and on, it would have been. So I didn't want to risk trying to cross that. Now we're getting back to... It the two lane roads but since it's um starting to become you know daytime and whatnot it's not all that bad we do need to stop for fuel soon hopefully we can find one and uh in a couple hours gotta stop for rest as well but i i get, i do gotta say um i think uh, flight simulator's attention de to detail is slightly better, but when I say slightly, I mean very, very slightly. I, I do love the attention to detail they got in these types of games. Um, so that's part of the reason I enjoy playing this type of game from time to time. Because I get to see different states in a way that, you know, just in case I, I never go there, I can actually see what it relatively looks like. And it's, it's quite fun. I think if I wasn't disabled the way I was, um, I think I would enjoy traveling, honestly. I, I really think I would because uh, you know, I could sit here and drive for hours. I mean, I've had this game for years. I've played many careers off screen. Um, many careers. But when I got the equipment to record and stream, I'm like, yeah, we're totally doing this because I really enjoy this. I mean, I, I get really excited when they drop the prices for the states because you know I always go and grab at least one of them but we're gonna have to stop soon very very soon I think if the gas station that we stop at has a rest area at the same time I'm just gonna kill two birds with one stone I ain't, I'm not playing this fatigue game again unless the game like curses me or something and doesn't make the job easy like it did last time. And we're going to go back to uh, driving at night. And it looks like we're getting a rest area popping up right here. So, I mean, no fuel, but I'm going to stop at this rest area and uh, rest up and keep going. These ones that are on the um, three, three ways or highways or whatever, um, they're most of the time not too bad.
Welcome to Play California. Are you serious? I guess it is what it is. We just left freaking California, but actually that's not too bad. It's uh, still daylight, but it is going to um, change here. And we do need to find some fuel very, very quick. We are dangerously low. And part of that is I don't have the upgrade chassis with the, the bigger tanks. It's, uh, this is just the small tank that they give you at the beginning. I think that's 110. Uh, since the updates, maybe 150. Well, he used to be. I think they made the starter tank smaller since the update. I think it's 129. You see, back in the California in the freaking 55 speed limit. Again, the only reason I'm complaining about it is I don't have a lot of wiggle room when it comes to like going over before I actually go over. Come on, give me a fuel station, guys. I mean, I know this in the middle of nowhere, but jeez, give me a fuel station because we're running extremely dangerously low on fuel. Like, we're basically running on fumes here. Basically, not quite yet, but it's, it's getting there. Jesus Christ, please give me a gas station, please. And I didn't see that because I wasn't paying attention. Okay, I don't see how that... Uh, part of that was my fault, I'm not going to lie. I wasn't looking. I was thinking about something else. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We got a fuel station coming up here. So, you know, if you're in the comments and you're sitting there laughing at me because I crashed. Okay, go ahead and do that. But uh, I'll admit my mistakes. I wasn't really paying attention there. And that one there, I just had to adjust my hand on the controller. And uh, I just so happened to do it just in time. Again, the only reason I came to complete stop there is because I don't want to miss that. Uh-huh, now we're dangerously low, but thank the Lord God, uh, we're right there, so I, I'm not worried about it. Thank you, Jesus, for getting me gas station. You guys probably, you, you know, you, some of you might make fun of me because, you know, I'm thanking God for helping me with the game, but I'm trying to adjust my hand on this controller again that's kind of why I had to breathe um, stop and communicating with you guys because when I go play when I go silent like that it means okay we time focus again you know like because if you don't something bad's gonna happen yeah I was getting a hiccup so when <coughs> And got some peanut butter and uh, if you guys haven't tried that man it works like a jar every time I mean if you don't like peanut butter then yeah I see why you wouldn't do that but uh, either if you don't mind it or you you absolutely love peanut butter man that's oh yeah it, it, we're fine eight percent on the truck which really isn't all that great but you know what i'm mainly concerned about is the damage on the product itself everything else i'm not too concerned about the truck we can fix you know if uh a um repair shop shows up and we'll eventually get to the point where we can fix the um Oh crap, I made the mistake of unplugging it before I changed it again. See, I'm trying to do everything from the controller instead of driving up to my uh, keyboard every time. 
If I was doing that, I wouldn't have to pause it, but I don't want to do that, so that's the way you deal with the controller now. Uh, anyways, we'll eventually get to the point where we can fix the tra trailer itself as well because we'll have our own trailer that we had had, had purchased. Um, but right now, the only thing that I'm concerned about, really, as a whole, is the product that's inside that. Because that's what they fine you for. It used to be that if you had 1% damage on the trailer, the product inside and damage on the trailer coincided. In other words, it wasn't a separate thing. Then they did a couple updates and <clears throat> made it so that the product inside had its own little damage level. What I'm really looking for is a repair shop so we can get this 8% back down to zero. Um, again, those cra crashes were uh, really stupid uh, that caused all that damage, but you know, when you're like me, you, you kind of have to accept the fact that you're going to crash. And it looks like I'm going to have my own, i um, going to get my wish, there's a repair shop up here. So I'm going to stop, get it fixed up, and we're going to keep going. Again, I do apologize for the kind of the crashes during the um, whole thing, but uh, all things considered with how long we've been playing, I don't think we're doing all that bad. And some of them were, I'll admit, some of them were really stupid, but um, some of them just could not be helped. Talk about hair raising in five seconds. Again, if you're a fan of the live streams and you want to watch the whole thing, uh, all the more power to you, but uh, these recorded versions of this game are going to be extremely cut down uh, because this is a several hour stream at this point and I'm not gonna have someone watch that much of content in a video form. No way. So I mean if you wanna watch me play this game with no edits, live stream is the way to go. Um if you want a really short version, then you want to go with the recorded version. And I'm just restating what I said earlier because I need you guys to get that because there are going to be parts that I cut out that um, some of you may not agree with me cutting out but it's only to basically save the viewers time, okay? Um, I mean, I absolutely murdered these uh, truck and sim videos. So again, if you wanna watch this whole thing and actually see what I'm doing 100%, uh, you definitely want to go to the live stream when it comes to this particular time. Yeah, that seems to be going quite fast right now, so we're going to slow that down because especially at night that's scary. Yeah, truly. Sometimes uh, night driving really frightens me sometimes. Especially when you uh, gain speed and you're going downhill, that's the moment it scares me the most. I really do not enjoy night driving. 
because it's one of the scariest moments for me. Because I don't know what's gonna happen. Whereas during the day, I can see what's gonna happen long before, you know, it even happens and avoid it. Not saying that I can't do that here, but it just at nighttime it's a lot less coverage because in some places it really is dark dark that's why i run the high beams almost um basically 24 hours a day because the normal headlights just don't cut it he just you know the normal headlights just don't cut it we still got an entire day left driving. Holy, holy crap. What did I sign up for? Holy crap. That's that's all I can keep saying, guys, because I mean, I've done further jobs than this, but in all honesty, on camera, this is the furthest I've ever taken you guys. Like, uh, I'm not playing with you. That's what I'm saying. When you consider how far we're going and how long we're driving, you know, we're not really crashing that much. You know, just a few here and there. Man, we're definitely getting paid big time uh, for this one. $80,000, holy crap. See what I mean? These dark spots where you can't see much until, you know, you see, you see it in the headlights, you know. It's just so much easier to uh, slow down. And the reason I freaked out a bit is I don't know if you guys saw it in the corner of the camera, but a guy with the, his headlights started to pass me, I'm like, uh, I need to slow down here, you know? It made me freak out just a little bit. Yeah, definitely made me freak a little bit. No question about that. Be as careful as I can here. Oh man, I really don't like that. You know, some days, in my life, I feel like Jesus doesn't care. Um, I've been really in a slump these days, but I know deep inside he really does, and he cares for you and every single one of you guys watching. You know, whether you believe in God or not, you know, he's the only way to heaven, guys. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you, I don't want to turn on a preacher inside me, but I don't want to sit here and lie to you and not use this platform for anything. Um, yes, I'm here to play games with you guys and enjoy games and whatever, but, you know, I think since I'm just driving, I might as well, you know, while I'm in the process of thanking him for helping me in the spots that he has tonight. You know, God really does care for you guys. Like, I'm, I'm not going to sit in here and lie to you guys. I mean, right now I'm really in a bad place right now in my life, but I still have enough thankfulness to say, you know, thank you God for helping me in the smaller years. I'm actually going to uh, end the stream here because I'm not going to be up much longer. Uh, so don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see you guys next time. Hopefully the next time we'll finish the rest of the 22 hours.